Hey guys, I'll give it a few seconds to see if anybody tunes in or you might be catching this live, not live later as a recording, but um, a couple days ago I decided to order a three-day detox. I had um, done a one-day one before and thought, well, I got through it, so let's do three days, right? haven't been eating well, I went to Cancun and didn't eat well and didn't drink well. So I ordered a um, squeezed three day detox and I thought I would kind of show you guys what came in it. Um, it just arrived here and there are five juices um, for each day. You have a breakfast, kind of a snack, a lunch, a afternoon snack, a dinner and if you work out you also get a cashew milk milk Whew. talk about southern um, and if you guys have any questions I'll try to answer them too so in the three-day detox you can probably see all the colors that none of the juices that I got are the same so I'm not gonna get bored even the cashew milks are different there's a regular cashew strawberry and cacao flavor um, so I don't know, do you guys want to know like what the flavors are? And also this is you guys keeping me accountable. So I expect y'all to check in and make sure that I'm doing this. I'm going to start it tomorrow, Friday. So I'll do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which I think that means that that gets me out of cooking for Father's Day, right? Maybe. I don't know. Because I tend to um, avoid the kitchen at all costs because what I found when I do a detox is that I need to stay away from food and keep myself busy and also just keep drinking throughout the day. Like I'm not going to chug this first thing for breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm going to kind of gradually drink it and once it's gone, I'm going to drink, fill it up probably with water and at least drink that one time with water and then move on to the snack. So as long as I'm constantly drinking throughout the day, I have better luck with it. Now I will tell you guys right now, I've done the first day. I am a little bit nervous about these green ones. And the settling is normal. These are cold pressed juices. So they're not um, going to be perfectly blended together. This one is pineapple, turmeric, romaine, spinach, orange, parsley, ginger, and lime. That is dinner for day two. I'm hoping that the ginger and lime kind of overbear the other ones. Um, another one that sounds good is a watermelon, cucumber, pineapple, apple. I think I'll just want to drink that one the whole time. Um, I see another green one. The green ones make me nervous. My sister makes fun of me because I don't like the green ones, but there's something about the celery that is just, I don't know. So day three, lunchtime, probably when I'm really gonna to wanna to eat my face is cucumber, spinach, celery, apple, and kale. So that'll be good. Let's see what the very last one is. You'd think the last one would be exciting, right? But the last one is pineapple, romaine, spinach, cilantro, orange, and fennel, which it's a good thing I like fennel. Fennel is kind of like um, black licorice, which if you guys have been around for a minute, you know that I like black licorice. Um, so yeah, the front ones all look like they have beet. This one, let's see what this one is. Oh, I think I've had this one before too. I'm a little nervous about this one because you can see the separation of the flavors and the color. It's got cucumber, spinach, ginger, celery, grape, kale, apple, chard, and parsley. Y'all won't be offended if I drink it with a straw, right? I've heard that if you drink with a straw, sometimes it helps if the smell is a little bit too much for you. So anyways, this is my detox just unboxed. And um, you know, Put out some good juju for me that I make it through the three days and yeah, that the family makes it through the three days as well and feel free to bug me and check in on me and make sure that I am sticking with it and not eating anything else or trying to have some snacks along the way and that the uh, family survives too. So I'll kind of periodically check in and let you guys know how some taste and maybe I'll taste some of them live. Probably breakfast wouldn't be the worst, the best time, but I'll try some of them live. And um, we have some plans this weekend too, so I'm gonna make sure to pack a cooler and bring them all with me so that I am planned. And um, the cat is distracting me, so that I plan well and 
am not going to be easily persuaded to try to eat food because I'll have my meals with me. So that's it. Um, thank you for tuning in. And let me know if you guys have done a detox and if you have any hints for me so that I can make it through the three days. Y'all have a good one. Bye.